Are you a physician duly licensed to practice in the state of New York? Yes, sir. Will you be good enough to tell His Honor from what college you graduated? I graduated from the University of Bern, Switzerland, in 1976. Did you thereafter serve a clerkship and internship in any hospital? Yes, at Queen's General Hospital for six months, and I interned at Rikers Island Hospital for over a year. I am at present assistant attending in medicine at Cumberland City Hospital, Beth L. Hospital, Brooklyn Veterans Hospital. When you first saw Samuel Bensky, did you administer anything to him? At that time, I administered intramuscular magnesium sulfate. Well, what is the purpose of that? The purpose of that is to relieve the edema of the brain which occurs after such an injury. What do you mean by edema of the brain? When there is an injury to a tissue in a closed sac, there is an extravasation of blood followed by a compensatory release of fluid be being brought to that part, which causes an edema. We have the brain enclosed in membranes. When that brain receives an injury, blood flows out from the torn blood vessels. To compensate for that loss of blood, Fluid is brought from the entire part of the body to take care of that, but the body does not know when to stop, so more fluid is brought than has been lost. That causes an edema, a swelling of the brain, and a pressing up against those membranes. How did this occur, doctor? By magnesium sulfate, what we call a hypertonic solution. In other words, it will draw water, and by doing that, we assume it will draw the water from the entire body, and especially from the brain, where there is a local extra collection. Doctor, what else did you do? At that time, I also took x-rays of his skull, let him lie in the bed, gave him this intramuscular magnesium sulfate, and prescribed some sedation to keep him quiet. Doctor, what is the connection of a nauseous feeling with the brain if there is any? There are certain centers in the brain which give certain functions to the brain. The vomiting center is in the hypothalamus area, that is, very, very close to where the membranes are. And after any edema occurs, this is irritated and the patient vomits. What type of vomiting is distinguishable? Explosive projective vomiting. What is the distinction, doctor, between this vomiting and the other type? If a man has stomach trouble and he has an upset stomach, he vomits. But this type is not of the stomach, which just drops out of his mouth where on this type of injury there is no irritation of the stomach, the vomit just shoots out, going on rare occasions a distance of three or four feet. This man never had such a distance. 
but he would vomit quite a distance, I would say, a foot to a foot and a half. <laughs>